Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. We have a basic install today, and it's for some Kemimoto bags. Um, they uh, they sent these to us, and we've just been so busy to get this video done. But um, it, it takes a little bit of drilling and a template in the Honda doors, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do it. And uh, the center one, which we'll show you, uh, just straps on. Straps in, straps on. And uh, we, we like all of Kemimoto's products. Uh, waterproof, good zippers. They're durable and uh, haven't had any issues with any of their products that we've used. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you a little bit more and uh, what you need to complete the install. The bags that we're going to show you um, are two side door bags. And then this is a center door, center uh, bag goes between the seats. And uh, it's pretty, pretty easy. So here is the instructions. And uh, they go ahead and they give you these push pin screws that will go in. And you also get a template for each door. And you just cut these out, hold them up, tape them in place as big as the doors are. So we're going to show you how to do that as well good they last a long time this is goes between the seats but we also have the ones we'll show you that go in the doors and that's that's the primary reason of this uh, this video but uh, thank you Kemimoto for sending and we will uh, show you how to install these so this is my dirty Honda door as you can see and here's the template I'm just gonna try to show you this a little bit we'll do the driver side and show you a little bit more but on the door as you can see obviously we got the right one these are pretty nice doors so uh, bag uh, <laughs> door bags these are pretty nice these are pretty nice door bags not they're nice doors <laughs> what we'll do is I'll just give a little view of me doing the work there it's probably easier and what you want to do is you just I don't have an awl I'm just going to use an old knife you just want to basically be able to leave a mark so you know this is where I'm going to drill now it says eight millimeter uh, bit drill bit now if you look in the conversion that's like a five sixteenths almost so what we're going to do is we're just going to use that and then I'll show you we'll just wiggle it around a little bit and make sure make sure it is going to fit. It's a little, like if I go bigger, I don't want these tabs coming out. So once you've drilled all that, you can then just pull it out. You're going to have a tiny little mark on each one. It's not perfect, but I can see where it is. You know, I can just see where they are. And, uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of machines are nice and clean and neat. And uh, mine's, mine's not. <laughs> So here are the little, these are the bits that are going to go in. Once we drill the hole, this is, this is a bit, this is the bit that's going to go in. Okay, and it falls out of my hands, but it's just a pop in. It's just going to have a little bit of, boom. so you don't want to make the holes too big or they're going to fall out. That's why I went with a slower, a shorter, listen to me, I can't even narrate, a smaller bit. So we're going to just do one as a test, a test one. But just so you see, I shall So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a extra hole because basically these have to go in and lock. We make them too big, so like that, that that'll be perfect. So once I push that in, it ain't coming out. So I don't want to get all the way in, but you want to make it so. If you have any kind of weight, heavy stuff in that bag, you want to be able to put stuff in the bag and you don't want to uh, have any issues. So obviously that's where the first one goes. And it's behind this, you know, just the, the holes are here. And you can see inside, you pull this apart, there's another zipper, another zipper. And we'll show you. There's another zipper, which we will open up. And as you can see, you unzip. You unzip this inner zipper, and there are the holes. So, you have to unzip it all the way. It's kind of hard to see. But there are the holes. 
and so that would go in there. So since I have one in a corner one, I'm just going to pop this. I'm going to pop this in here. All right, just so I have the right dimensions for the rest of it, and I'm going to just pop that one in. All right, so now I know. All right, that's where it's going to be, and I'll drill the rest of the holes, and then we don't have to worry about it. So really. A lot of this is just take your time, go easy. Uh, we're going to show you the rest of this, but just wanted to let you know that this is a pretty easy install if someone's going to say it's going to take forever. It's not going to take forever. It's really not that bad of an install. And once you get the rest of them, the rest will fall in place. So if I look at this, that one of the lines up there, we're going to go ahead and drill this one and just be really careful. Nice and slow. Alright, and so I got to take another one of these guys. And just so you see how this works. This one will go in here. And then you pop it in. But we're gonna drill all the holes just to make sure that we're lined up. We're not gonna go ahead and just pop them all in because you need to be able to see in the bag and get in there right you need to be able to see get all those in there so we're going to drill them all first and then go ahead pop them in. and you can just see you know you take a look and you see how far that is that without it without a template you probably you probably would miss mark some of them that's the whole idea is you want to be able to just make sure you're getting all the all the right holes in all the right places. And I am, but I just want to be sure. And as we see, that one I can feel where that is. And once you get them all lined up, you can you can go ahead and push pins in. But I think the easiest thing to do is just, you know, when you go ahead and get them all in, you don't want to be drilling with the bag, so you want to make sure you get them all. But that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna pop some of these in here. I only have there's only two more holes down here. But if I go ahead and put those in, I can't get to those holes. So you want to make sure that. Everything's lined up and everything's good. And this one down here, I can do a better job on, but we'll take care of that later. It's not a big deal. And that's that's pretty much it. Putting the door bags in. There's another one there, and obviously I can see where it is, but it was a bit of a dirt hole where that one went. You want to make sure you drill, but don't go all the way through the outside of your door. So go easy. Go easy and you're all set. And then once you get them all, take your pop pins out. And get these all lined up. As you can see, you just pop them in. And that's going to hold them in place. So, give you a close up of, of that so you can see. As you can see, pop in really good. Get a couple more down here, and we'll pop them in. And but that's a, it's a nice door. Really nice. We like it. We like them. We we use Kimimoto stuff. All the time and we're happy happy that they send us this stuff so we can test it and let you guys know is it worth it you know and that's half the battle is are these products worth it and uh, that's really what you want to you want to be able to do so once you get these holes in there you just pop them in but that's 
that is really it. You want to be able to get these pins in, and it doesn't it doesn't take more than one person. Once you get them lined up, you can see. I'll show you again. It's hard to do it one hand, but you can see they line up in there, and easy. And uh, like I said, you can close it all the way up, and then you get your. And they look really nice. Close. Well, we really like them. They fit really well. So we're happy with those. Thank you, Kamimoto. These are top notch and they're waterproof. Nothing's going to get in there. So you have plenty of room. There's a nice mesh. You can leave your phone in here or a map. And then, like I said, once you get it all done, you zip this up. And then you have a knee pad, which is going to look like so. And that knee pad can go anywhere. That's on the Velcro, and so we'll put it there. And then we zip this closed, and uh, you're all set. You don't need to get in there anymore, and you're all set. And these are really, they're, I like them. I really like these bags. They look really nice. So they hold on really well. And you can fill them up pretty good. And a little flap here brings, you can flap, flip this over and keep the even more protection over the zippers. We like it. So I would say top notch. And thank you, Kemimoto. We will definitely be getting a lot of good use out of this. And we'll show you the center bag mounted in the Honda as well. And really, this gives you enough room just for a couple things. We don't keep too much in here. Keep our little emergency plug. Some tools. Tie wraps. And a uh, set of clean cloth, cloth wipes. And a uh, flathead screwdriver and a knife. And we're all good. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the Kemimoto bag. Now this... This bag uh, will go between the seats. There's straps, which will go. And I'll show you in the Honda, we have top straps, but these, we don't have anywhere to strap it to. But we really like these zippers. If you look at this, these zippers just really seal. And nothing's getting in there. You know, when you open it, it's got a lot of space. It has a little thing for your keys. You can put your keys in there. But really, we like it. And you can put your phone in there just like that, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, obviously, you'd probably have a waterproof case, and you have your phone in there. Um, you can put your driver's license in here, so that definitely will help if you are, you know, you put stuff in here, and that's where you can put your beaten trail stickers. <laughs> so, you know, so, so, but that's, that's nice. And uh, this top bag here, this top zipper here, which is easier to show you out in the sun uh, because we're gonna go riding and this is just gonna be a big mess. But this bag is really uh, a decent size and we love these zippers. Um, you could, if you want, take it out of the car, take it out of the ride and then just go carry it around. It's easy enough, but we like it. And uh, we would say that thank you very much, Kemimoto, for uh, showing us uh, some appreciation by sending this so we can do a review on it. And everything Kemimoto we've had, we've had really good luck on it. But I would just say, um, always look up Kemimoto for your products. They're definitely less expensive than some pro name brands, but they're great. But that's it. The center bag uh, fits pretty easily on the roll bar in the back. And we strap it on the top, but on a Honda, there's not too many places to strap it on the bottom. Not an issue. It stays pretty put uh, and secure there. But we like it, and it comes in handy. You can fit your phone and your wallet and everything in there, but it uh, fits pretty well, and it's easily accessible. So thank you for watching. We appreciate you checking this out, and check out Kemimoto on their Amazon store. For this, but this will sit between the seats. And then this, this zipper is really good. This is, this is like super waterproof. And you can then you can take it out, and you can carry it. You know, it's a nice... Uh, it is definitely a nice uh, addition to anybody's ride. And it uh, looks nice and it's pretty thick. It's pretty good. It's, it can store. You'd probably put an iPad in here if you had to.
might be a little tight. But either way, we like it.